Slept like a baby. In a washing machine. Hmm. Time to check my daily affirmation calendar. Who knows? Maybe this one will actually stick. <clears throat> hmm. Sing a song about who you are and what you want. All right. My name is Ed. Nice to meet you. Hey, can you spare a dime? I'm unemployed, I'm destitute, and I'm hungry all the time. Plus, I got some real mean XYs, you know how that is. It's not my fault that I'm this way. Yeah, sure, I smoke and drink every day, but it's only because I was raised among pigs and my mom dressed me up in wigs. I was the prettiest little pig at piggy prom that year, but I don't let it get me down. Yeah, I'm still rolling around town. I'll tell you what I want The finer things Diamond rings And fancy restaurants And how about an ex-wife who actually calls me on my birthday? Is that so much to ask? And I got a call Late last night From the local prison They said that I Could scrub the toilets for 25 cents an hour. Hey, things are finally looking up. This is gonna be great. I wanna go all the places and see all the faces I've never ever seen before. And it could all be mine if I just open up that door. Oh shoot, I'm gonna be late. But I don't let it get me down Yeah, I'm still rolling around town driving in my car. Wait a minute. Am I moving? Oh, well, you would know. Yeah, something's wrong with the old hunk. And the car, too. Let's see. Where the hell am I? Hmm, what do you know? 
I really should have taken those self-taught mechanic classes back in 87. I just couldn't stand the teacher. Hey, hey you! Having some car troubles? No, no trouble here. This is one of those display-only models. Yep, I just like looking at it. If it ran, that would really just get in the way. Do you, Do you need, need a hand? hand? How'd you know? I lost them both in the war. Well, I found them again. Would you, would you like, like to come, come in and, and call a mechanic? mechanic? Sure, it'll be hilarious. I'll ask him if his refrigerator is running. Speaking of running, I uh, used to run for public office. Yeah, I used to run down to the deli to get sandwiches for the mayor's dog. Or was it his wife? You know, I can never remember. All I know is I uh, had to knock before I went in in case he was up to something. Or maybe it was his wife. Either way, I had to knock because, you know, I might have his hands where they don't belong. Did I tell you that I lost my hands in the war? I think I did. I think I told you that. Well, I lost them in the war. I found them again. Anyway, you know the bit. So, uh, yeah, speaking of running, is your refrigerator running? Have you heard that one before? Yeah, I lost my hands in the war. Refrigerator's running. Would you like a radish? I'm losing my mind. It's extremely cold out here, and I don't think I'm okay. In fact, I think I'm completely insane. I think I'm insane in the membrane and everywhere else, too. That's right, I ran for public office. Sandwich, deli, deli, sandwich, deli, radishes, cabbages, carrots, cabbages, radishes, everything. Yule ball, this thing. What is that? You over there, you over there, hey, you. What, what do you want? What are you filming me? Why are you filming me? Why are you filming me? Stop filming me! Stop it! Turn it off! Ah, anyway, yeah, you know, I'm uh, speaking a little crazy, but uh, yeah, I tell you I ran for mayor, yeah, my hands, the more, yeah, it was like, uh, hey, how you guys doing? Hurry in, it's cold out here. Nah. Let's go inside. Not you. You stay here. Stay. Don't. Mm -mm. I'm locking the door. Ah, huh, this is a real nice place you got here. Yeah, a guy could really squat in this joint if he didn't have a permanent residence. Sydney, would you take... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. What's not to get? It's a very common name. I mean, I didn't hear it. Oh, well, I'll speak up next time. You ever seen one of these before? It's called a cherub. About your name? Oh, I'll tell you all about my name. I was named after my grandfather, who was named after my father. You see, my grandfather was a feral child, and he had a kid before he'd been given a good Christian name. You see, now Christian gives the best names, except for that one time when he named my sister Hagatha. Oh, dear Hagatha, whatever became of that coal mine? Now, when my uh, father got a little older, he decided it was time my grandfather got a proper name. So he went ahead and named him after himself. Seeing as he didn't know very many names, I was kind of being raised by a feral child who didn't have a name. And of course, we were all named after my mother, and that's the story of my name. What was that again? Oh, a cherub. Well, his name's Dan. And her name's Sydney. And we welcome you to our humble abode. <laughs> Make yourself at home. I'm afraid that's going to be difficult without a tumbler of scotch and the strong smell of urine. <gasps> I just remembered! Our phone isn't working! Not working? What a freeloader! By the way, can I borrow 50 bucks? No, no. See, our phone is on the Fritz. The Fritz, you say? I knew a Fritz once. Good guy. Glad to see you named your phone after him. No, wait. Fritz! The beautiful Fritz Gerald Theater? Your phone's on stage at the beautiful Fritz Gerald Theater? What are they putting out at the old Fritzy? A Muppet Christmas? A Muppet Christmas. Let me guess, he's playing Animal. What? No! See, our phone, it's not working. Mmm, well, it is hard to find work out there, for, especially for the creative types. <laughs> you already used that joke. Listen, our phone is completely shot. Shot? Oh, what a tragedy. I hope they track down the killer. Well, I don't mean to be cold, but seeing as you don't have a phone that's working, I've got to be cold and go out in the cold, where I'm sure to get even more cold, and I know it's cold to me, but it's time to be cold, so... Nice to meet you, nice snowing you, and winter sleigh bells. <laughs> oh, but you just got here. Surely you'd love to stick around and try some of my world-famous... Eggnog. <laughs> That's right. Sugar Bumpkins makes the best eggnog in the whole universe. Aww, <laughs> I, I love, love you. you. Well, I'm afraid your eggnog is useless to me unless it can fix a 1924 lemon and repair it. I do mean repair it. The thing is completely out of pairs. Wait, I just remembered. We might have a phone in the back room. <laughs> yes, the back room phone. Ah, back room phone. I was in a back room phone once. <laughs> It was a cold, wet place. 
Have I told you about my ex-wife? She's leafy and green and round, and I love that you can throw her at a wall. She doesn't seem to mind. She doesn't mind much of anything. Who are these fine feathers? Oh, these are just some guests we're having over. Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Oh man, this room is ripe! Woo! How you doing, Sugar? Tell me your life story. Hi. Don't skip on the details. Well, my life story, mm -hmm, I come mm -hmm, from a mm -hmm, large mm -hmm, family, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, my mother, mm -hmm. she's... That's really interesting, but first I want to hear your life story. Go start with that. Well, well my mom, Yeah, she's... before that, tell me your life story. Well, my life story, I come mm -hmm. from... That's real a... interesting, but I want to hear about your life story first. Tell me your life story. Well, when I was a child... All right, I got a question for you. Yes. What's your life story? So, okay, my... Hold on, you can't talk until you have the speaking radish. Let me just find it here. Oh, there you go. So my life story... Oh, hold on, that's not the speaking radish. You're silly. Here, this is the speaking radish. So my life story mm -hmm, is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my father... Now that's absolutely he... fascinating, and I hate to interrupt you, but I'm going to. I'm not going to interrupt you, okay? I'm not going to interrupt you for the next part, so go ahead and say it. I'm literally not going to interrupt you at all. Okay, so so my, my mother and father met in college, and oh, it's a great story, so... So my, my mother's brother, um, he's, uh, he, I, I feel like you're not listening. Mm. Um, you got a good sense of intuition, lady. Give me those back. Take them back. Give me them back. Take them back. Am I confusing you? Give me them back. Take them back. All right, now listen. I'm going to give you one more chance here. Don't dilly-dally. Don't mess around. Don't jerk me around. Tell me your life story. I want to hear it right now. Go. Do you want me to start from I don't have time. All right, I'm gonna take my radishes and uh, move on to the next one. You've been great. Well, I'm not being honest. You've been better than great. You've been terrible. <laughs> Give me those back. Take them. Back. How you doing, Slim? Oh, hi. Are you the waiter? No, of course. I'm always waiting. I feel like I'm waiting for everything. The day never comes. Anyways, is there anything I can do for you? Yes, please. I would like to see a menu. Oh, a menu. I can do that. Uh, how about a woman menu? We're all out of menu. Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah, they're all working the coal factory these days. What do you guys have for soups? Well, soups. We got duck soup, carrot soup, anything in between. Carrot, please. Well, we're out of carrots. Ooh. It's more the stuff in between that we have. Ooh. What do you have in between? Well, between a duck and a carrot? Yes. Mm, not much. The ground, I suppose. Well, are you the waiter? Mm. Are there menus? I've been looking for a menu. I might be the waiter. I could be a. I'm not very patient, but I could wait. Do <laughs> you guys have wine? Wine? We got wine, yeah. I got a lot of problems. I like to wine, sure. Uh, what kind uh, of wine would you like? I got I got problems with girls. I got problems with boys. I got problems with things in between. Uh, with the white, please. You said you wanted a pine cone, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Well, no, there you are. Uh, now listen, I'm not the waiter. Wait, yes, I am. But how do you know the couple again? Uh, well, funny story. I just uh, randomly met uh, Dan in a locker room in the airport. <clears throat> the airport? You fly up? Fly often, yes. Mm, yeah. I was routed many, many times. I was supposed to be in California hours ago. But... Mm. Oh, I know how that is. Uh, You're a big flyer. Um, yes. Oh, well, what do you say? <laughs> mm, I've seen some strange flyers in my day, but uh, that takes the cake. Speaking of cake, would you like anything? No cake, please. Pie. Mm, let me see. Uh, 3.14. Uh, I lose track after that. Uh, anything else I can get you? Uh, do you have any moose? Uh, yeah, we got moose, but I think your hair looks just fine. Mm. Should be more self-confident. How about a menu? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hold on. Oh, thank you. By the way, you got a funny way of pronouncing grapes. Now, is uh, there anything I can do for you? Uh, yes, please. Uh, what do you have to drink? Oh, to drink? Let's see. Uh, I had uh, about a pint of scotch today, a quarter of whiskey, and uh, two and a half flagons of mead. So anyways, anything I can get you? Nope. Well, all right, then. I'll be your waiter. I got a lot of other people to help. So uh, if you need me, just go ahead and shout. I need a waiter. Okay, go ahead and shout. A menu. Go a menu! Okay, a little louder. A menu! Well, could you be a little bit louder? I don't think I can hear you. A menu! Now, I might be all the way across the restaurant. If you need me, you need to shout. A menu? Yeah, perfect. Mm. Now, is there anything I can get you? Soup? Oh, sure. Be right back. All right. Yeah. Some assembly required. Okay. Yes. I now, uh, how do you know the couple? 
Oh, funny story. I was on my way to the airport and I, I uh, got on the wrong flight. And I ended ah. up here and I happened to meet Dan in the locker room at the airport. The locker room, eh? Mm. Mm. Well, I hope you found the key. Nope. Mm. Well. And then I can do for you. Uh, menu, please. Sure, sure. Just can you tell me the time first? Yes. Uh, well, actually, no, it appears I lost my watch. Now, it looks like my shift is over. Mm. Sorry, sir, I gotta go. Okay. But someone will be here right away to help you out. Oh, thank you, sir. For sure. Can I get you anything? Uh, another waiter. All right, here I go. Well, well, well. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Ah, you're looking fine as always. Why, thank you. I uh, put on my fresh cologne today. I'm so happy to be making all these new friends. Well, you know what I say. Good coat of fresh cologne makes all the difference. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one of those. Uh, some hello. of these. Give me some of that. All right. Anyway, uh, so uh, what's the bit going to be here? Bit, bit. Um, you're going to make fun of my demeanor and general life. All right. And, what uh, are you going to do? I'm just going to talk about myself and my problems. All right, sounds good. Well, let's get started. Okay. Well, I was at the mall wandering around because I was coming down from my opium or heroin binge. Uh, what was it? Opium or heroin? heroin. I, can't, I can't remember. Hmm. Um, and then Dan and me found me and they said they wanted to take me to a party and I said I need some more friends because uh, my wife left me. Your sweater makes you look like a car wreck. That five o'clock shadow you're wearing looks more like a midnight shadow. The clock strikes twice at midnight, if you know what I mean. I'm a bodybuilder, did you know that? Oh, must still be under construction. Well, I, uh, I, I haven't been hitting the gym as much because of the, uh... Well, I would certainly hope not. The gym can't take it. Ooh, look at that. But I think that if I keep exercising, I can get my wife back. She married a pro wrestler, but she's gonna come back, I think. Hmm, yeah, pro wrestler, eh? Well, an amateur maybe you could do, but pro, I'd probably skip it. Say, you got a lot of money? No, I'm, I'm flat broke. I'm actually... Oh, flat broke, eh? Yes. Well, it's better than shop broke, I guess. A round broke. What kind of broke would you like to be? A uh, stock broker? Uh, the, I, I know some stock brokers, at least I used to. You ever heard the broken window fallacy? No. If a window's broken, you get to throw more rocks into it. You kind of look like one of those windows. Kind of want to throw rocks at you. So anyway, what you doing today? Well, I'm uh, having some tea. Well, I love to tea. Uh, I'll see you on the golf course. I don't golf. Say, what's the bit here? Tell me about your cult. I was in a cult once. It was run by mm -hmm. a man named Alice. Mm -hmm. Alistair Crowley? Uh, he might have called himself that. I don't remember. Oh, fair enough. So what'd you do on the stairs? Uh, we walked up the stairs. Hmm. Why not run? Uh... No power. All right, well, what's the bit here? Well, you were going to make fun of my general demeanor in life. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything I can poke fun at. You're pretty solid. Well, You're a real you. wall. Thank you. All righty, then. Take care now. It's nice to meet you. What was your name again? Edward. Edward. Huh. Interesting name. Yes. Say, you got some real fun whizzes in this joint. Yeah, some real nice funny whizzes. Speaking of whizzes, I gotta take a whizzes. My bladder is full. Oh, well, I can show you to where the bathroom is. Honey Bunny, can you see to our other guests? Of course, Snuggle Graham Cracker. <laughs> So this is our hallway. Oh, that's it's it special because it's where Sugar Bumpies and I had our first. First, let me tell you about cabbages. Cabbages, oh, such cabbages. Did I say cabbages? I meant radishes. Here, have a radish. I want you to have this radish. You're a real dish, by the way. A real deep dish slice of piazzas. You know so who has the piazzas? bathroom? That rabbit I was in the hole with it. I was on parole with. Oh, I used the hole in my pants to stuff the cabbages in. Stop the radishes from falling out. I'll let you find the radish. Your own way back. You're a real dish. Oh, such a deep dish slice of sweet piazzas. Let me tell you. Mm mm mm. Oh, who's the bathroom? Would you like a radish? That slice of Swiss Jack. I know we didn't get up and run. Did you want your radishes back? I'll get to you in a second. First, I got some questions for you. Questions that need answering. The normal kind of questions. The ones that you answer. Here I come.
So how'd you end up here? Uh, I was doing some Christmas caroling around town. By yourself? Um, no, I have this uh, charity thing that I do for my um, cousin. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Let's not talk about it. Let's sing. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen to hear sleigh bells in, in the snow. I Say, what's up, Jack? You want your radishes back? Hmm. Say, you know, the air in here is thicker than my ex-wife's nose hairs. With every Christmas hey, say, can you see by the dawn's early cabbage what's so black? We fruit with the vegetables and bread and the carrots red. Oh. Hey, hey, that's pretty funny. <laughs> funny? Okay. You want to ruin another take? Because it's funny. I'm not. I'm not joking around here. We're trying to. We've been working at this for like three years. You think it's funny? You think it's funny? Okay. She thinks it's funny, guys. She thinks. She thinks all your work is funny. Yeah, we've been working on this for three days, Joy. All right, I don't care where you came from, what agency you came from, okay? I'm trying to act here. And if you're not willing to act, then we can find someone else, all right? So if you want to start acting, that would be great because we've got three days with no usable footage, we've got nothing but carrots, and we need you to focus up. All right, you're doing good. What else is going on? You're worthless! Say, I ever tell you you got a real solid color? You're a real wall. Don't give up. Honey, I have a great idea. Why don't we tell our guests about the first time we met? Yes, this is the perfect time for that. the only one like me I used to feel so strange these desires that I had society would not allow but then I met you the sky opened up and I felt brand new and now I've got some to do the things I want to do to Together You and me Together We shall be Together Forever and ever Together I will be with you We will never part Oh,
Honey Bear, do you remember the story of how we first met? Of course I do, Pudding. <laughs> I was a lumberjack in the wilds of North Dakota. And I was a waitress in the wilds of North Dakota. <laughs> and I went to that waiter place and I ordered a sandwich and a piece of pie. And when I saw you, I just... I knew, knew we had a connection. I knew that you were a person, a real yeah. tangible one. And we just hit it off right there we in did. some kind of special it's way. It's kind of strange because I never liked mm. the way that you smelled or and the fact that you don't take showers. And I didn't like how you wouldn't play cribbage with me on Sunday nights. Well, cribbage is a terrible game. And, and you're a terrible you person, <laughs> but you know, I don't say it in front of our friends. Well, I didn't say that about you. <laughs> well, that's good. Because I would have had to struggle well, you with know, all I had never you. liked your family. Well, I despise the fact that well, you wanted to hang out with your family. Well, I despise God. the fact that you celebrate Christmas. I hate you in general, the way that you always put on makeup and shower. Well, I hate Look at you over here. You and maybe, maybe want to pants. What? Freedom is in the freedom of this country. Yeah. Right. Together, we're the free dogs. Free dogs. Free dogs. Free dogs. Free dogs. Free dogs. Beauty queen. My precious plum. My baby doll. Oh, my little smoothie. My cat litter. My spiggerdoo. My popsicle. My cookie. My peach cobbler. Oh, my apple pie. My baby girl. My baby girl. My beauty queen. My precious plum. My beauty girl. secret that we share Oh honey don't keep them in suspense any longer You're right my dear I'll tell them here The reason we are together is as follows We're in love That's that's all it is we're, we're just in love Wow You two sing just like a bird a chicken to be specific and not a happy one. The kind I get sandwiched between two buns at McDonald's. Well, the guy next to me get one and I swipe it. Anyway, what a number. Oh, what a number. I'd like to get her number. What a number. Oh, radishes. What a dish. What a number. Um, what a number. Mr. Ed, was it? I am Mr. Ed. Oh, you poor thing. You haven't had any of our food. Or a drink. Why don't we get that for you? Would you like to try some of my eggnog? Ah, eggnog. Stuff of the gods. I love this stuff. I'm definitely gonna enjoy this. Let me just bring it up to my mouth. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Does this have half and half in it? I cannot do the stuff. I need whole and whole. Or at least half and whole. I mean, maybe half, half, whole. That'd be fine, too. I mean, half and half is just one. Do I look like a one to you? I'm at least a 0.5 or... 1.5 or 2 uh, something. Uh, now take that away. I won't do it. You're trying to stop me or something. What do you, you think of me? So little. So little one. 
That's just silly. You got anything else? Hmm? Oh, what do you have? Ah, soup, just like Mother used to make. Looks just like the stuff she used to make. Did you steal it from her? Anyway, I'm just gonna bring this up here and have a nice whip. Hmm. Oh, I love it. Um, uh, uh oh. Is there garlic in here? There's garlic in here, isn't there? Yeah, you know, I can't do garlic. I'm just like a vampire in that way. I'm like a vampire in a lot of ways because I am a vampire. Now, vampires aren't real, but my aversion to garlic, that is real because I am a vampire. I cannot do it. Please get that away or I'll break out in hives. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, <laughs> oh, what's this? A simple carrot. Of course, a simple carrot. What can I say about that? You know I love carrots. I bet you think I couldn't say anything bad about that. Well, I can. Unfortunately, the thing is peeled. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, take a look. It's peeled. You can see right there, completely peeled. What am I supposed to do with that? It's, 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 it's peeled. That's completely unappealing. I know it's counterintuitive. You might think that if it's peeled, it would make it more appealing, but no. That would be if it was being peeled. Then it would be appealing. Present tense, gerund. But no, it's been peeled, which makes it completely unappealing. I won't have it, and you should be ashamed of yourself, both of you. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Unimpressed. Really, 0 for 3, you guys. Try a little harder next time. Honey buns, can you meet me in the kitchen for a second? Yes, sugar cane. This is impossible. Yes, sugar cane. This is all your fault. Yes, sugar cane. What are we going to do? He won't eat anything. Anything? Let me tell you, I'll eat anything. Ask my ex-wife. <laughs> Here, have a cigar. <laughs> That's a piece of celery. That's exactly what I told the guy who sold it to me. What on earth are you talking about? It came from the earth, he said. You can burn it at both ends, he said. What more do you want? Uh, by the way, there's a police officer at the door. What? What? Oh, f I mean, what a fine day. Honey Schmuckle, would you see what the fine officer wants? Of course, Honey Bear. Can you take care of the kitchen while I'm away? Of course, Sugar Cane. Oh, I, I love, love you, you, Sugar Punty. Glad that only happens twice. In this picture. Yeah. Lady, I'm going with you. Between you and me, that guy's a real can of peas. Have I told you about my dog? He's covered in a fine moss, green stuff, all over his body. It just crawls on there. It's got many bodies, but it's got a single mind, you see. It's a collective, and it can count to five. It thinks as one, but it is many beings. Yeah, let me tell you about my cat that could count to five. He died in the cemetery where I got him from. Speaking of death, did I hear correctly that you're... Here, have a carrot. Why, hello, officer. How can I help you? Well, hello there. Uh, I was wondering if you know who the owner of that car is back there. As you can plainly see, it's double parked in a handicap zone, which you know isn't good. You don't want to be double parking your car in a handicap zone. And you know that's bad in and of itself, but uh, you can see, or maybe you can't see, I don't know. I don't know your type. Uh, there's also a sea of elderly people. What? <laughs> I mean, yes. No, I mean, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, would you like to come in for some cocoa? Well, you know, I really uh, shouldn't, but uh, okay, I guess I will. Well, that was a boring conversation. Say, whatever happened to that guy I gave the radishes to? Hmm, he was a good looking fella. <laughs> <laughs> he had a real nice suit. Spades, I think it was. Maybe it was clubs. Get over here. Oh, I you. Is it just me, or did the cows just come home? How about I go with the cows and you come home? Run. Oh, sorry. I just got a little uh, turned on here. I mean, 
turned on around here. Uh, that reminds me. Uh... Forget what you saw. Forget what I saw? Oh, sure, I'll forget. What am I forgetting? I can't remember. I gotta remember if I'm gonna forget. What was it? I had to forget something. Forget, forget, forget. The big knife. The big bloody knife that you were holding and you told me to forget. That's what I need to forget. That's right, the knife. Knife, 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 knife. Don't forget the knife. You have to remember the knife before you can forget the knife. Here, take a memo. I want you to write this down. Forget about the knife. Underline knife three times. I cannot forget about that knife. I need to forget it before I can remember it. Uh, remember it before I can forget it. Either way, give me that back. That's right, okay. Forget the knife, 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 knife. I'm gonna remember to forget it. I have to remember to forget it before I can forget to remember it. If I remember to forget to remember to forget it, then I remember to forget it and everything's great. Remember the knife, got it. Don't forget about the knife, got it. Wait, what was I forgetting? Now you got us both confused. You're coming with me. <laughs> Honey, I think we're going to need to... Yes, Pudding Bear. What happened to the police? I took care of it, honey. Just like I took care of it the last time, honey. And the time before that, honey, because I'm so good at taking care of things, honey. Good. Now we just need to... Hey, where did he go? This really is a lovely place. Just look at that faucet. Running water and everything. Hey, you! Aunt Bertha? <laughs> you gotta get out of here! Oh, oui, oui, Aunt Bertha. Vous avez été Listen, I've been hiding here three days they in a row! They want to examine the to a trap. There's not right about these people! Je you know, there were like five of us when... Now they're all... You know, I think they're... Put them on me, you I think they're killing people! Oh my god! This is... I didn't want to eat the food, but they made it. What's up, Diego? Don't eat or drink anything. What are you talking about? Now listen. In the kitchen, in 20 minutes, I'm going to have a plate. I'm going to have a plate. I'm going to have a plate. They didn't use the proper serving spoon for their eggnog. What do you think? Why are you asking me? I just got here. Why are you on a... Ah, you're not worth the mustard. Oh, how rude. How very, very rude. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going back to reading Proust. Hey, is that surprised to be happening? Wait a minute. Am I forgetting something? Oh yeah, I was going to the kitchen to make a sandwich. <laughs> Hmm, kitchen, kitchen, sandwich, sandwich. Hmm. That's weird. They don't have an angel on that tree. Hmm, 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 hmm. La cuisine devient la eternité. La vie, maison bulle fragile. La cuisine, la sandwich. Whoa, 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 sorry, I didn't realize you were renting this room. Yeah, you just stay there. Well, yeah, have me over sometime. This looks like a nice place. Uh, yeah, you look great, by the way. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut your door. All right, have a good night, then. Oh, boy, what a stiff.
Honda. What is wrong with you? Well, that's not a very good line. Let's let's change that. Hey, Mike. Hey. Yeah. Can you stop rolling? Okay. What's up? Okay. So I just don't think the line is very good. Which one? The uh, the, the one of um, what's wrong with you? I just feel like that this whole thing hinges on the dialogue, and I just don't think it's working. Wait, wait, so uh, Ed Shrugs sets the food on the counter and yeah. starts to make the sandwich when suddenly, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with that? I, it's just, it's not very specific or interesting. I mean, yeah, I guess it's an important line, but what... I don't know, I just... Uh, I, we have like six writers, I thought maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, this was Barry. Bit. Barry wrote this. He was the, he was Barry? the last... Barry? Who the hell's Barry? He was the last guy we brought in for the rewrite. Oh, Barry. Okay, well, I don't know, dude, can we brainstorm some ideas? I know it's budget. Cold. I know the last day of shooting, and you you want to do a rewrite on this. I wanted to, I wanted to turn out. So, uh, uh, have you got any ideas? I don't know. Uh, yo, yo, dog. Uh, yo, dog. It'd be like funny. It's like. A, what about you, sound guy? You got any ideas? Any ideas? Mm. Below the line. Um, what is wrong? Pitch something. Pitch, first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, they got. Well, Ed says this in the script. He says, hmm, yeah. how about this? Hey, funny man, it looks like we're about to have the last laugh. Yeah. So what if they said that to you? But what am I going to say? Why would they say that? Well, you could say, I think Batman said that to the Joker one time. Is that, is that too much? I, I don't know. You, uh, got, you got a better line? If you got a better line, you can write it in. We can do it. Okay, yeah. I should have just written the damn thing. Brackets and and okay. this better be good. that it ship that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Better Let's be do good. it. Okay. Come back. Let's come back. Jesus. Are you supposed to be here? Yeah, okay, we go. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Gabba gabba goo, we've, we've had, had enough, enough of you. you. Fun time's over. We try to make things pleasant for our guests, but you? You, you just had to go and make things difficult. What with your cabbages, and your ex-wives, and your grandfathers. And, and your stupid jokes that don't go anywhere. And your, your stupid cabbages. Wait, what? What? He was always talking about radishes. He's given up like 20 of them. What are you talking about? He's been going on and on about cabbages since before his car broke down. And here I thought I was more of a carrot guy. Shut, Shut up! Well, all right, what's going to go on? Are you going to kill me? Are you going to stab me? Are we going to sing a song? I mean, it's the end of the third act. we got to get to this. Let's go. Okay, fine. What do you think we're doing here? Inviting people in just to spread cheer. No! We're, We're up, up to something. something. So you finally figured it out. I did? We're going to detail our plan right now. Oh no, that's fine. I don't want to trouble you. No, I insist. We pull this trick. And then we end their lives. Oh man, things are getting heavy. I need some advice in these trying times. Oh, Mr. Sandwich, you've always been good to me. A good friend. You got a good soul. You're a nice guy. Well, a nice guy for a sandwich anyway. Sorry, Ed, but I'm evil too. I helped dine Hitler persecute the Jews. I was only following orders. <laughs> you had to go and make things hard with your bits about vegetables and asking us to take our car. Hey, would you like a car? No! First 
Lest we drug them with the food But you refused Oh, so rude So now we bring out the big gun Eggnog, 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 Can't you see? They're murderers! Just like me! <laughs> so, uh, which one of you two is gonna stab me? Uh, I feel like the missus would be the better stabber. <laughs> Actually, I do the stabbing around here. I'm a little bit better at that. Oh! <laughs> Sugar cane. Hmm. I wouldn't say better. Different. What do you mean by different, Sugar Plum? I mean different, Sweetie Pie. Yes, but when you say different, I feel like you mean something by that. I mean different! <laughs> okay, but I said better, ergo good, but you said different, therefore bad! Oh my god, oh my god, you always do this! You always do this! You have to do this in front of the guests, but if you're such a good stabber, why don't you go ahead and stab? Well, maybe. Uh, well, then no. let's go stabby, stab, stab! Ah. What a wacky series of events. Slipping on banana peels and getting impaled by their own knives. It's poetic. Shakespearean, really. In fact, I think that happened in Shakespeare. We might have stolen that. Oh, looky here! A piece of paper that solves all of my financial problems. Hey! I'm the uh, police person from earlier. Looks like I didn't get murdered, which is good. You don't want to be getting murdered if you're a police person, that's bad. Of course, you don't want to be getting murdered anyway if you're a normal person, but there's something a little bit worse if you're a police person. But yeah, I'm the police person from earlier and I didn't get murdered. Police person from earlier. It's nice to meet you. I think I remember you from earlier because I'm the police person from earlier. Actually, you're not a police person. You're a mechanic, and you're gonna fix my car. Me? A mechanic? But I've never fixed a, uh, what do you call it? A car. I've never fixed a car in my life. Well, then you must not be a very good mechanic. It wouldn't be right for you to charge me very much now, would it? No, I, uh, suppose not. Well, good. As a matter of fact, how about you pay me in exchange for the chance to practice on my vehicle? You know, become a better mechanic. Why would I do that? Well, if you do it, I'll give you this certificate saying that you did it. Okay, so hold up. I'm just a normal, everyday uh, police person, but what you're saying is I'm gonna fix your car and uh, you're gonna get all the money and uh, all I get is that their uh, thing you're holding right there, that their piece of paper, that their thing right in front of me, that their certificate that says that I did it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, a normal, everyday police person. I didn't go to neurological school. I don't know much about the human brain because I didn't go to neurological school like some of the people I went to high school with, some people who are doing a lot better than me now, quite frankly. But, uh, hmm. Yeah, that's okay, though, you know, it's okay, because it's not all about the money. It's not all about the money. And I don't know much about things, being an average, everyday police person. I don't know much about things that are, things that are to be or not to be, and that kind of thing. But, uh, that sounds like a scam to me. That's what that sounds like, a scam, a real scam. What do you call that, anyway? I call it college. Woo! All right. Hey! You! Wait a minute. You forgot your sandwich. Sandwich? What's a sandwich? I never heard of such a thing. Uh, I can't even say the word. Smash mish! Smash mish! Smash mish! Here, take this. I renounce my ownership. It's all yours, buddy. I don't want anything to do with it. Listen, buddy. I know you're tight. I had a type once. Type 2 diabetes. It made a lovely ding when you finished typing a sentence. Anyway, you look like a hefty sport. I'll give you this sandwich if you fix my car. 
Why, I ought to... Ought to motive, they'll say. A raging police officer in here such as yourself, bodies all over the floor, they'll throw you in the clink faster than you can say sandwich, which I doubt you can even say in your rage state. That's right, you're gonna be behind bars. Cuffs on your hands, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll get the chair. Well, they won't go easy on you, that's for sure. You gotta help me. All right, I'll try, but I can't think. I'm too hungry. Here, take this sandwich. Give me a bite of that sandwich. Mmm. Well? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, come on! Come yeah. on. Mm. Mm. I don't know if I can do another bite. No, I can. Hurry up! Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Mm. A little dry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, you look like a mechanic. Why, thank you. You ever fixed a lemon? And that's the story of how I got my sweater. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. 